Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Yes, we are still traveling around Poland. If you're the first time to this channel, then make sure you start from the beginning. Poland has stolen our hearts and we are loving every minute of this trip. In this video, we go to Krakow and we explore this amazing city, possibly one of our favorite cities so far. Good morning guys. It is two minutes, we've got two minutes to eight. We're at the Baltazar Design Hotel in Krakow. Yes. And we've got breakfast at eight o'clock. We're gonna see if they are on point or not. This is the test. We are finally in Krakow. If you've seen our last few videos, we've been exploring Poland, and this is one of our second to last trip. We're in the Baltazar Design Hotel, and because of COVID, obviously, we can't go down to the restaurants and have uh, the buffet, so they have brought breakfast to us. Beautiful. Today, we've got another walkative tour planned, which will take us about one and a half minutes to get to, because we are right into town. The Baltazar Hotel is perfect located but let me quickly show the room one more time because I just love it um, it's safe to say that the bed is super comfy Graham and I had nine hours sleep not kidding look at the design this picture this is this is brilliant this is me this is literally me chilling out while Theodora is like it's working work. yeah, on, on the farm it's, it's, it's oh picture. yeah it is our room it was meant to be but babe I'm not being funny the but I think it would be rude so guys Enjoy this sped up time of us enjoying our breakfast. <laughs> So literally three days ago, Poland went into code red, meaning that all restaurants and bars are now closed. Zone red though, I think, not code red. Oh, sorry, zone red. That's our code red. Code red on the mayonnaise. It's when your mayonnaise is basically gone and you should have already had a backup. Okay, this I wanted to show you because this is what we were excited about trying in the restaurant. It is, I think it's like 30 day ripened Florentine steak, which is like the showstopper here but also the design. Obviously we're in a design hotel. Would be rude not to show you the restaurant. The ambiance is so cool because of all these old features. So it's a beautifully designed restaurant and an epic menu. And then let me show you the outside. So this is kind of the garden room and it looks out to the courtyard with these which they also set up for outside use even when it's fr like cold they have like the lights on and ambience so is. you need to put that picture in babe it looks so cozy but unfortunately we can only have food in our room for now so on to today's itinerary okay guys we're about to embark on our third or fourth walkative tour you can see there it's got the yellow um yellow umbrella but we've been doing these tours in every major city and basically it gives you a good understanding of the history of the city gives you loads of tips for food and restaurants obviously we can't go to any restaurants but we can do takeout so that's good um, and yeah uh, make sure you check out our last video because we did arrive yesterday uh, to the hotel and then we went straight over to the mines and that's one of the things you have to do when you come here is go to the salt mines so let's do this Okay guys, it's going quick. There's only four of us, so we can't really hang back in the tour and tell you all about it. But our tour guide is named Damien, and he's by far the best tour guide right off the bat. But if you're coming to Krakow and you're here on a Monday, there are quite a few uh, museums and stuff open for free. So yeah. after this tour, we're gonna go to Schindler's, Schindler's uh, factory. factory 
And then we're going to go to, what's that one? The pharmacy under the eagle. This is also where a pharmacy, I think, hid Jews back in the World War II. Yeah. And the one thing uh, that's straight away noticeable, like even when you walk around the old town, it's so gorgeous. But the cool thing yeah. is, it's all authentic. The wall barely destroyed Krakow. Yeah. So everything that you see in here, like the wall, is like 700, 800 years old. And Krakow actually used to be the, um, guys, I said it in my last video, wax museum. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get. I don't oh, get why people go to these wax museums. Let us know why we should go there. Please, please sell me on it. <laughs> yeah, one day I will make a whole video just on the wax museum <laughs> for you guys. Anyway, uh, Krakow used to be the capital yeah. for many years. Five hundred. Five hundred. But now uh, Warsaw is, and basically the, what they say there's a friction between Warsaw and Krakow. Uh, there, when you go to Warsaw, the best thing you can do is buy a ticket. And That's go to crack out. That's what Damien <laughs> says. It's not me. Jokes. It's not me. So, babe, I think we might have to try one of these. On every corner, you see a lady sipping these breads. Okay. 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 Kind of like I a pretzel. Yeah, kind of like a pretzel. I think we might have to um, to try one and ask Damien like what they are. When you come to the main market square, you'll see this huge building, which is a market. There's a black knife hanging there. That basically means that if you steal in the market, we will cut you. And I hear you thinking, oh, probably fingers and hands. No, no. Your ear, your ear will be gone because your, your hand, you can hide like, mm, I'm not a thief. But your ear, people know, bloody thief. Do you know where they used to cut them off? Publicly, in front of the Hard Rock Cafe right there even until the end of the 18th century still okay let's go I kind of feel like i'm on the scene of harry potter we're in the first university of krakow and it's a very special place even the polish pope studied here but another reason why you should go and check it out it's an awesome building like real cool quirks has got it but at 11 1 and 3 every day there's a little show a bit like poznan there is a show behind those doors behind me where it tells the story of this university because really the princess hedwig yes like the owl of harry potter um she actually gave up all her jewelry, her crown, any riches that she has to buy books for this place and to get this place going. So it sort of shows the story of how the queen really gave everything to get this place going, the king, because he spent his wife's money, and then the scholars that kept this place alive. Pretty cool sight. So it turns out there are six universities here in Krakow, around about 200,000 students. Well, that's insane. Portsmouth, where I come from, I think there's about 20,000 students. I thought that was big, but this is huge. So you can imagine lots of students, lots of cafes, lots of restaurants, proper good vibe when you come to Krakow. Okay guys, I thought it was quite an interesting fact. We're standing outside the Pope's window. So basically when the Pope, um, the Polish Pope got elected to become the Pope on his official visit, he would stay here. And uh, a lot of the youth came out, a lot of the people from Krakow came out and said, uh, come and speak to us. So he opened the window and said, go away I'm tired they knew that was a joke and then from there they started singing and they had a conversation with the people and then when the Polish Pope died uh, all the following popes would come here and come to this window and do the same thing to the people so it's kind of like a tradition and pretty cool that we're outside the window of the Pope and although you can see it's a, a picture of the Polish Pope it is actually a window that's pretty cool so we're in the most beautiful square of Krakow and our hotel, funnily enough, is literally a couple doors down in that street. That that temple over there is a thousand it's years not a temple, old. Babe, now church. he did name it also it's temple. temple. Yeah. Oh. The temple is like a place of worship. So there's two um, Catholic churches. The other one is 500 years old. But it's got such good acoustics that that's the concert. So that is the place for concerts where we're going tonight at eight. So our hotel is pretty much backed on to the most beautiful street, or they say the King's and Queen Street of Krakow, which basically leads you uh, to the castle. As you can see, the road goes round to a curve, which is not the German way. It's definitely the Polish way. Yeah, the Polish are a little bit rebellious in the sense that the Germans wanted everything straight on. So when you go to the market, you'll see a lot of the streets like this. 
but this is curved and that's the polish and just so we know this is a thousand years old that's so crazy it's all original and when we came into krakow this is the first thing we saw this castle is huge it's like the epicenter of well it's on the edge it's like the epicenter of krakow of the church in the castle area you saw some big bones Graham will have a clip right now and you're wondering what are those bones because those bones are real now back in the day people believed that it was actually from a dragon there are caves underneath the castle we are standing in front of them right now they're still there he's firing wow you see him yeah he spouts every four minutes so you can come down here yourself see him and wait for him to load of fire and obviously bring your marshmallows while you're here oh, 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 oh. oh the girl behind her is really oh scared. she's really upset oh bless her oh no oh, oh bless her oh look at her pale face <laughs> it is pretty insane though okay the tour is over we've come back to the room just for a quick freshen up it is so hot outside so i'm gonna put a body warmer on i needed the toilet needed to get rid of my coat we're gonna get on the scooters now because in every country uh in every city in poland mm. there's these uh is it lime lime scooters lime scooters where you can just scoot around the town so we're gonna get on two of them and go over to the jewish quarter which we know there's lots of cafes and restaurants uh obviously doing food oh uh, yeah but um, what kind of food are you after Graham? i wonder what mm, beef burger so yeah you ready for it i am babe i am all right let's smash in some b-roll We have gone for the boogie truck, aka the burger truck. Can we just say what happened to your Apple sunglasses? Don't know. Don't know where they've gone. She's lost them. I lost the pair of sunnies. Luckily, they were not too expensive. But let's see what this bar boy's got to offer. <laughs> oh my god. We have bacon. We have a medium rare patty. Pickles, tomato, melted cheese, mayonnaise, and romaine lettuce. Oh, and the bun looks real good, babe. How are we gonna do this? Isn't that a trick to eat it upside down, anyway? Oh. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yes, yes. Okay, we had to scoot back over, literally scoot, I'll tell you in a second, from where we were because the Schindler's List factory is shut and the apotheque under the Eagle uh, or the pharmacy under the Eagle is completely shut on Monday. So that is not going to happen. But we've come back to the main square because Crane was saying earlier about these circular breads. Now, we know all about them. They're actually the origin of the American bagel. All started in Krakow. This is the only bread in Poland that is allowed to be sold only in Krakow. They have the license and everything. And basically the Polish name for it means boiled, like boiled bread. And 
our historian tour guide Damien told us that bagel was actually found in the literature of Krakow 600 years ago. Then a Jewish man made this bread, took it to America, and here we got the origin of the bagel. Now we've got to try one. He recommended cheese, so I think we've got to go for that. Goya. Goya. Oh, it feels kind of warm. A bit dry. Like I feel like you need some cream cheese and salmon. We need some oil and basilico vinegar. Yeah, it's quite. I'm not sure how long we've been sat there. I don't think it's a fresh batch, but guys, we're going to leave it there with the bagel. A free and easy way to help us and our channel is just to subscribe to the channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up for the video. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to Auschwitz to uh, learn all about that. Been wanting to do this for a long time, so we are kind of looking forward to it, but not looking forward to it at the same time. Yeah, if so you know what I mean. Tonight we're going to watch Shinja's List, the movie. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video, guys. See ya. Look, there's a little smell. As always, a massive thanks to our patrons for keeping us on the road. And in the next video, we visit Auschwitz. And on the way to our next city, we have major car issues. Well, major for us anyway. Anyway, see you next time.